Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I have decided to film an empties video. So here I have a bag full of empty products. So these products are more like skincare and more natural and organic products. So if that's what you're interested in, then I hope you enjoy my review. So I'm just gonna start by picking things out of the bag and tell you my honest opinion on them. So the first thing that I see is a Marilyn Monroe spray and play sexy voluming hairspray. I've had this for like years in my room just as decor, um, but I remember hating this. And it's by Big Sexy Hair, so it's a well-known brand for hair products, but I hated this hairspray. It was so sticky, made my hair so hard, and just not, not a good hairspray. I would not invest money in that ever again, unless Marilyn's face is on it. I'll buy anything that has Marilyn's face on it, realistically. The next product is this here. So this is a Jason Long & Strong Pure Natural Conditioner Nourishes and Fortifies Long Hair. So this is an all-natural conditioner. I did really like this. That's all-natural is obviously really, really good for you because whatever you put on your body, it only takes a couple seconds to get into your bloodstream. Next is a ginseng toner from Kill Baker Visage, which is the spa that I currently work at. It's a ginseng toner with restorative powers of ginseng. I have sold this to many clients, and a lot of my clients have loved it, although for myself, it did not work for me. So I probably would not repurchase this for myself. So... things but I'm just not even so my next empties are rose water so pure rose water this one is infused with chamomile and this one is just pure rose um, I used to use these as a toner as well as a makeup spray although I do not use these anymore I did really love them um, but now for my toner I use pure natural witch hazel which is better for problematic skin and as my makeup setter I use rose water mixed with oxygen infused water I really did love these, all organic. I got these at Nutrition House as well. Um, definitely I would recommend this as a makeup setting spray or as a toner, both very effective. So next thing I have in here is a refreshing rose water. So this is just 100% pure rose water extract. Uh, what did I use this for? I think I used this as like a serum, so I would put a little bit on my fingers and dab it into the skin. So I actually found this to break me out, so I stopped using it, although I did realize that an actual oil would have worked better. Mm. Okay. Alright, so the next thing is a eucalyptus essential oil. This I have used, I have used many of. So this I highly recommend. I put it in either my infuser, which I just recently bought. So definitely I have repurchased a eucalyptus uh, essential oil and I will continue to because it is quite amazing. So next thing I have is a oxygen hyaluronic hydrating mist. This is also sold at my work, Carol Baker Visage. Um, and this is supposed to be like a makeup setting spray or a toner or just a refresher. I love this. This is my third bottle and this is what I mix my rose water with. So I mix them together and I spray my face with it after my makeup and it completely just gives me a nice dewy look. So it really makes your skin look nice and smooth and because of the oxygen what that does is it produces blood flow which, pr which produces um, elasticity so collagen into the skin so it's really really good for you. So yeah, I love this. Next thing is my Facial Moisturizer Imperials by Lush. So this is a soothing, brightening orange blossom cream that's perfect to balance skin with a split personality. So um, I've been going back and forth between Lush moisturizers and to be honest with you, they just don't work for me. The best moisturizer I've ever used in my entire life is strictly just coconut oil. It is amazing and I put it even under my makeup and it doesn't separate my foundation at all uh, it doesn't make my skin greasy it just really hydrates my skin and keeps it looking really nice and young my passport that's great now I know where that's been but it's oh my god oh my god 
My passport's expired and I'm going to Vegas next month. Holy fucking shit. Oh my god. I need to get that done ASAP. I legit feel like stopping this video and getting that done right now. Oh. So next up, I have two empty foundations. I have a CoverGirl 3-in-1 Outlast Stay Fabulous Foundation Plus Sunscreen SPF 20 in the color Soft Honey. This is a really popular foundation. I really do love it. I find this to be my summer foundation just because it's a little bit lighter. And also there is an SPF, so I love this foundation. Have repurchased it already and will probably continue to. Then the next one I have is my Double Wear Staring Place Makeup by Estee Lauder in the color Dawn. And I have repurchased it because it is my winter foundation. Right now I'm actually wearing the Double Wear foundation and I love it. It's my favorite one. Skin Renewing Concealer by Jo Muselli. So this is sold at my spa as well, so Carol Baker Visage. And this is really awesome because it's light reflecting. And I'm also wearing this underneath my eyes right now as we speak, so I have repurchased it because I love this. And basically it is a concealer that has a serum built into it, so it's really good for under eye pigment and wrinkles. Um, and like I was saying, it is light reflecting, so it looks really natural in any type of lighting that you're in, which is why I love it. So it looks like this, and it has a little applicator as so. So it's really nice and easy to put on. So, next thing I have is a Carol Baker Visage H2O Restore Cream. So this is um, kind of in the same line as this, so both infused with pure oxygen. I really did like this cream, although again, there's just something in my brain that is saying, Melissa, if it's not all natural and not all organic, you're not going to like it, your skin's not going to like it, so just stop using it. Oh, I had another foundation in there, okay. Next foundation is the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. This I 100% loved. Um, I think the reason why I haven't repurchased it is because really, really sheer coverage and I do like a really flawless foundation skin look. So then I have my 100% um, Natural Witch Hazel Toner. So now this is what I used to tone. This is my third bottle. This is a really good antibacterial, so it will kill any bacteria that is lingering on the skin. Um, so, in other words, it's going to prevent any breakout. It's really important for you to use a toner. I will tell you why. As an esthetician, I shall tell you. So, the reason why you want to use a toner, the reason why you want to use a toner, the reason why you want to use a toner twice a day is because every time you cleanse your skin with your cleanser, you're actually softening up your pores. So, in other words, your pores are now open and accepting bacteria or while you're cleansing your skin that is why you are able to remove any dirt and oil from the skin uh, so if you don't tone your skin after you've cleansed your pores will just stay open so you need to tighten your pores back up by using a toner to stop any bacteria from getting back in there so that is why a toner is very important for the skin it also resets the pH level in the skin and why not do it with an antibacterial, you know, witch hazel? I love it. So I think I bought this for like $6 at Walmart. Definitely have repurchased it and probably will continue to. Last but not least is an empty coconut oil jar. I've probably gone through three of these already, but I think I just forget and I throw them out. So this is an all natural organic coconut oil. It's amazing. I love, love, love coconut oil. If you have not already, you should check out my coconut oil video and what you can do with it. And I will continue to use this for the rest of my life because I love it. I love coconut oil. It's so good for you guys. So yeah, so that is my empties video. Sorry if it was not quite interesting. There was a lot of skincare in there, but that's just because I love trying new natural skincare just to find the right fit for me and my skin type. Thank you all so much for taking the time to watch my video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've learned a couple things from it. But yeah, if this video was helpful to you and if you guys enjoyed my review, then don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any more videos from me. So thank you all so much for watching and I hope you have an amazing day.